Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at insecticide because we are going to untangle a sticky web of crime. I haven't played this game but it looks so cool. It reminds me a little bit about uh, Beyond Good and Evil. And is that a good thing? Yeah, it is, because I love Beyond Good and Evil. The first, or the remake, the HD version, whatever. I don't know if it was released in a big box version, if there is one. I do know that there is a Nintendo DS release, a sequel perhaps, because I think this was part one. It was made by South Peak Games. And South Peak, I'm not sure if you know they were called South Peak Interactive back in the days when full motion video was hot. They did games like uh, Dark Side of the Moon and another game where you are inside a museum. Forgot the name, but I, I really like Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, it's one of my favorite games. So I'm going to have a look at uh, Insecticide, uh, what's inside this jewel case. It's sealed on, on sides. I'm going to have it chip that out. See if we can get less damage done. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's see. I don't. I don't think I have to do both of them. Just push this out. Um, no, I have to. It's a little bit stuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sealed jewel case inside a sleeve. Not much to see. Let's unwrap this baby. It's upside down. Yeah, I uh, can't really say too much about this game because I haven't played it, but it, uh, it does look good. Here's some installation instructions. Snow, come out, come out wherever you are. There's no... Is there? Come on. Nah. There's some, uh, some instructions. Uh, come on. What I really wanted to show you is the insecticide art. It's an art book that I found that also came with some stickers, which I'll show you later. But this is uh, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to look too much into detail because I want to keep this a little bit of a surprise for myself. But this looks really, really good. I'm not sure why this game hasn't got uh, any publicity. But um, these are some of the stickers. Yeah, so if you have any information about a possible big box release of this game, I would be interested to hear. Uh, or if you have played this game, your comments are always welcome. Thank you.